I have a few cards here. These are red and these are black. A black and a black, a red and a red. These are the red and these are the black. If I take a red, a black, a red, and a black, they should be mixed together, meaning red, black, red, black. But for some reason, it always comes black, black, red, and red. Let's move the red over to the left. A red, a red, a black, and a black. These are the black, these are the red. Black, red, black, red. Now, once again, they should be mixed but for some reason, they always come black, black, red, and red. Now, it can't be that hard to do. Black and black, red and red. These are the red, these are the black. I'm gonna mix them this time in such a way to where we can all see that they are being mixed black, red, black, and red. But no matter what you do, it always comes black, black, red, and red. I don't get it. Okay, this is the tutorial for the four card oil and water. If you don't want to know the secret, then this video is over and thanks for watching. We'll give a couple seconds for those who don't want to watch. Okay, that's enough. First thing you're going to need is five cards. It doesn't matter what the backs are. You can use any deck as long as all the backs are the same. You're also going to need a magnet. Um, no magnet. You're going to need double stick tape and the reason for the double stick tape explains why I said five cards and you're only seeing four cards because one of these cards is a double card it has a duplicate of itself taped behind it and you really can't tell but it's this one there's two nines of spades and this one has a little piece of double stick tape on the pip right in the middle just tear you off a little piece of double stick tape about the size of the pip and you stick it on there. Once you stick it on there and it's stuck to the card, you want it to stay on this card. So you're going to take your finger and stick on it a little bit. And what it'll do is get some of the skin, I guess, off of your finger and it'll weaken the stick part on one side so that when you stick these together, you press right there, that's like a little button. Uh, you press right there and it sticks them together. And when they come apart, that piece of tape will always stay on this card. And you can use a nine of clubs if you want. And get your duplicate card, line it up, and just press right there and that's it. You've stuck them together and now you can perform. Now there's only a couple moves you have to learn. They're fairly easy. One of them, you have to know how to hold two cards without the tape. Uh, there's a couple times where you just hold two cards like this and there's no tape. So that's fairly easy to do. There's only one move that you really have to practice on prior to doing the routine. And I'm going to show you that move right here. When you have, and sometimes this card is going to be stuck behind one of these red cards. But you do this move three times during the routine. So when you have your double card here and your single card here, you're going to book turn them like that. I like to hold my index finger and middle finger right here so I can square these cards if necessary and then I have the pinky down here. So I'm basically holding it here and here so I can let go of these 
and what you do is and put your get your thumb over here so you want to sort of do a little hiding as you as you pull it but what you're doing you have your double card on top what you want to do is reach your thumb in the back and pick that single card off now if you just snap it you're going to hear the snap of the tape you'll hear the tape snap and unless you're talking very loud over it they're going to hear it especially another magician who knows about double stick tape and by the way um, work your tape a little bit keep keep pressing it a little bit until you can get them to stick where they'll hold together but they won't snap that much and the, the way I the technique I use is what I do is just lift it a little bit and then rotate it and it'll and it'll break that tape apart so now you can lift it up and pull it forward and I'll break the tape without making a sound bring your card forward now when, once it's broke, see now I have this. This is the one with the tape, and I'm and now I'm I'm holding these two cards together, without any tape. And as I bring it forward, when you break that tape, sometimes these will separate slightly. That's why I keep my fingers here. So if it, that happens, I square them up immediately. And as I bring this forward, I'm squaring them up under the guise of this card. So I can do whatever I want, and just looks like I'm holding this card. Now, once I bring this card forward, I release these fingers. It just looks more natural as opposed to holding this one single, what appears to be a single card, very tightly. It doesn't look natural. So as I pull this, and then once they're square, I pull this forward, I release like this. So that's the move you need to work on. There's your double card. Your book turn like this and that's it okay this is how you do the routine I'm not gonna spend too much time on the move I just showed you I'm basically gonna just go through the routine this is how you start off this is your double card and these are all single cards the first thing you do is pick up your double card and put it in your hand take your next black card and you have these two cards. I take this card and I scoop up the other one. So now you have your four cards. Turn these cards over. As you turn, after you turn them over, I like to spread them just a little bit. For the reason being, when you start lifting them and placing them on the stack, if they're together, when you go to grab this card, you might accidentally grab both cards. So I like to spread them. You can separate them or spread them a little. So when you go to grab it, you have a single card and like this. So, turn them over, spread them a little bit. This is when you turn these over and you do your move. And notice I've squared these up. So now you take your first red card and you show it and turn it over. Take this card, grab it, remember to release these fingers as you move your card so it looks natural. This is the one with the tape. You want to flash it. You can, you can flash this one and hold it for a period of time but when you flash this one don't flash it too long because you have that tape on there it is hidden but if you just stand there and hold it like this they might see the tape so you just want to flash it enough where you see black and that's it drop it down come and get your other red card drop it down now this is a you're holding two cards here you're gonna show them as one turn it over and drop it gently they should stay together and square them up now when you go to pick them up you could just pick them up like this, but it looks very natural if you put your index finger in the middle like you're trying to hold them together. But actually what you're doing is sticking that tape to the next card a little bit. So you press down and grab the pack. Bring it up, square it a little bit, and deal them out. Now remember, this is your double card. It's not stuck all the way yet, so don't go pushing on it like this. So they're, they're stuck a little bit. So you pick them up like this and you fan them out. What you're doing is just fanning these first three cards out because this is your double card and I'm holding my thumb there and my finger there. And I'm going to take these three fingers and sort of just shove them underneath. So it looks like you're fanning it but what I'm actually doing is I'm holding right there in that tape and when I go like this I'm pressing even more. So now I've really stuck these together. And at this point you just show your black card, your black card. And when I come like this 
because this is a double card it's going to flip a little different than these single cards i like to pull these out and show that one first and then this one and it just it looks normal but anyway once they're down on the table don't forget to do this and move them around it conditions the person who's watching that they're just four cards because you're able to move them around like this okay so the next phase is you're going to rotate the reds over to this side you're going to do it the opposite way this time always remember where your double card is once you do this routine a few times you'll know where it's at in this case it's the six pick it up first and then your red card now at at this phase this is you have to remember this you have two nines and a six of spades if you don't do it this way which I'm going to show you when you get to the part at the end where you have the four cards lined up you're going to wind up with two nines of spades and if somebody has a keen eye they're going to notice so at this point you want to pick up your nine and make sure that the nine is on the bottom when you flip them so that the nine is the first one down otherwise like I said you're going to have two nines at the end as opposed to having the nine and the six so you pick up your double card your red card you have these use the nine to scoop the six flip them over your nine is right there so now you turn these over you do your little move and this time you're not going to show them you're just going to slide you know you showed these as the black cards. So you're going to go black red you can't show this one because it's actually a black card that's your one with the tape that goes over there so you, you you're, you're going you're going black red notice how I move my fingers away I'm just holding this card casually black and red square them up now you're gonna flip them over and you're gonna press the tape together at the same time so you're gonna put your thumb there like you are just holding them so you can scoop them up and you press your thumb grab them and flip them over as you flip them over you can press even some more square them up go like this you're good to go now this is your double card just very gently deal it out you got black black red and red now I go backwards I come back like this now when you do this to the cards the double card is going to be a deeper sound than a single card so as I come back I use this single card to make the sound as I throw that down sound sound see they all sound the same move them around again get them organized so it conditions everyone that you only have four cards the last move you pick up your double card first now it doesn't matter which one of these scoop it you have your reds and your blacks turn these over spread them slightly this is your last move slide it forward take this card and line this card you're gonna have to get your fingers just right put that one there hold these together you're holding two cards here as you turn around you see as I turned it over it's slightly showing so you want to make sure they're square as you come around here and place this card here now this double card you're holding it like this you're gonna switch your grip and hold it with your thumb and your middle finger as you're going like this you're gonna switch here and let go use your index finger to rotate it like this you should be able to hold both of them together for a short amount of time just to go like this place them in there now you're gonna change the change your grip to this hand notice how this finger and this finger just barely catches this one and over here it barely catches this one this way you can hold all four cards with just these two fingers also make sure you've left enough room for your index finger to reach right there if it's sticking too far you won't be able to get it so you have to make sure of that all you have to do at this point put your thumb here slide them together square them up you're going to turn them over grab the center so you're going to stick them together and flip them over and then you do the final and I like to rather than turning them like this I like to flip them like this so they can see the card as it's coming out so you just go black black don't peel them too hard you don't want to split these last two apart so they're stuck together black now when you flip them you can even you can even 
get a sound like that. And that's it.